हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम डॉक्टर गजानन बाग एसोसिएट प्रोफेसर एंड हेड ऑफ द डिपार्टमेंट केमिस्ट्री डिपार्टमेंट एस एम जोशी कॉलेज रैत शिक्षण संस्था एस एम जोशी कॉलेज हड़पसर पुणे ना आई एम टीचिंग सब्जेक्ट फिजिकल केमिस्ट्री फिजिकल केमिस्ट्री सेमिस्टर थर्ड सेमिस्टर थर्ड दिस इज द सिलेबस प्रिस्क्राइब बाय बोर्ड ऑफ स्टडीज ऑफ सावित्रीबाई फुले पुणे यूनिवर्सिटी पुणे फॉर द थर्ड इयर बी एस सी स्टूडेंट्स मीन्स कि वाय बी एस सी स्टूडेंट्स फॉर टी वाई बी एस सी स्टूडेंट्स थर्ड इयर बी एस सी केमिस्ट्री स्टूडेंट्स देर आर सिक्स सब्जेक्ट्स फर्स्ट इज अ फिजिकल केमिस्ट्री second is a inorganic chemistry third is a organic chemistry fourth is a analytical chemistry <coughs> fifth is a industrial chemistry and sixth is a optional subject but in our college in our department there is a environmental chemistry so these are the six subject in this semester and same six subject in the next semester fourth semester <coughs> and <clears throat> for the dy class three practicals organic and non physical so i am teaching this physical chemistry subject in this semester there are four topics included in this <clears throat> physical chemistry first topic is chemical kinetics second topic is electrolytic conductance third topic is investigation of molecular structure <coughs> and fourth one is phase rule so these are the four topic in the physical chemistry syllabus out of that now we are going to study the second topic <coughs> that is electrolytic conductance इलेक्ट्रोलेटिक कंडक्टर्स सेकंड टॉपिक सेकंड टॉपिक इलेक्ट्रोलेटिक कंडक्टर्स नाउ देयर आर सम डेफिनेशंस or small equations in this chapter in the beginning like what is meant by conductance what is ohm's law what is meant by specific resistance what is meant by specific conductance what is meant by equivalent conductance what is meant by cell constant what is meant by conductivity of water and how to prepare conductivity of water so these are six seven definitions having a small equations but very very important to understand this electrolytic conductance topic <clears throat> now we will discuss the one by one definition so in this first lecture we will discuss about the electrolytes and non electrolytes suppose <clears throat> ab it gives a plus and b minus when this salt or substance dissolves in solvent water it dissociate into a plus and b minus so this a plus is nothing but the cation and b minus is nothing but the ion okay 
So on the basis of these substances in conductivity, in concern with the only conductivity, are divided into two. One is electrolyte substances and another is non-electrolyte substances. Electrolyte substances means those carry the current which dissociate, forms cation and anion and carrying the current are electrolyte substances. Those do not carry the current are non-electrolyte substances in concern with the conductivity. Again, these electrolyte substances electrolyte substances substances are classified into strong electrolyte strong electrolyte and weak electrolyte <coughs> strong electrolyte weak electrolyte strong electrolyte the substances which are readily dissociate substances which are easily dissociate are called as a strong electrolyte example is hcl give the h plus hcl minus n aqueous these are the kcl hcl h2 so four are the strong electrolytes and weak electrolyte is acetic acid CH3COOH. It gives a CH3 COO minus plus H plus aqueous. The substances which partly dissociate, partially dissociate, are called as weak electrolytes. Now, this is about the electrolyte, non electrolyte, strong electrolyte, weak electrolyte. Now we will move toward the actual definition what is meant by conductance what is meant by conductance Define conductance or conductivity. Friends, we have listened to the name and we have observed. In any bus, city bus or ST bus, there is a conductor. Why he called as a conductor? His duty to carry the passenger from one place to another place. Someone says he cut the ticket is not a duty, is a part of duty. But Conductor carrying the passenger from one place to another place safely is the duty of conductor. In the same fashion is the definition of conductance or conductivity. Suppose This is the negative electrode, this is the positive electrode, this is the distance L, this is the distance L between the electrode and this is the cross sectional area. And if this is electrolyte, electrode, pure metallic electrode like platinum plates. Connected to the so these are the two electrodes fixed in a glass tube. So distance will not change. Now <coughs> this is electrolyte solution. Electrolyte solution. So what happens when the electrolyte solution dissociate? It forms the plus and cations and minus ions. So this cation, when you apply the electric field, 
this cation will move towards the negative electron and this ion means negative charge particles will move towards the positive electron means movement of the ion takes place and this is nothing but the in between these two electrode this solution is nothing but the conductor like a metal conductor this is a electron light solution conductor it is a conductor in between these two electrode there is a solution the electrolyte solution is a conductor so ability of ion or tendency of ion to carry the current from one electrode to another electrode is called as a conductance what is the definition of conductance the ability of the ion to carry the current from one electrode to another electrode is called as a conductance or it is called as a conductivity now generally we measure the resistance a resistance measured in r so it is a resistance and reciprocal of resistance is nothing but the conductance is nothing but the conductance so r is a resistance and one upon r is a conductance i will explain the unit of this in the next point next point is this is about the conductance or conductivity now we will take the ohms law which is very important in this topic what is mean by ohms law this ohms law you may study in the 8th 9th 10th 11th 12th physics chemistry ohms law is nothing but the current i flowing through the conductor this current i flowing through the conductor is directly proportional to potential applied to the conductor and inversely proportional to the resistance of that conductor so r is measured in ampere e is a measured in volts potential is measured in volts and r is measured in ohms so when this potential difference is kept constant then this current i flowing through the conductor i is equal to 1 upon r this i current flowing through the conductor is nothing but the 1 upon r and this 1 upon r is nothing but the conductance measured in ohm inverse r is measured in ohm and 1 upon r is measured in ohm inverse now this is the introduction part that is electrolyte non electrolyte strong electrolyte weak electrolyte definition of conductance and ohms law which is a very basic to understand this chapter so for today i'm i stop here thank you thank you very much